Hi, boys and girls. Welcome back to Storytime with Miss Felicia. I'm Miss Felicia, and I'm so excited to have everybody here to watch Storytime. Are you guys excited? That's awesome. So guess what? Today, we're going to go on a picnic. And Miss Felicia brought her picnic basket full of things to take on our picnic. Have you guys ever been on a picnic before? You have? That's awesome. Did you go on a picnic with your friends or your family or maybe even your nanny? I love going on picnics with my nanny kids. They're super awesome and super fun. And we get to have super yummy snacks when we go on our picnic. Today, we're going to read a story about two friends who go on a picnic and they bring along some delicious snacks, but they have a little mischief and a little trouble when they get on their picnic. So first, let's look into our picnic basket and see what we have for our picnic. So we have our handy picnic blanket. Miss Felicia made this picnic blanket all by herself. And you can make one too. You want to know how? I'll let you guys know after we finish reading our story how you can make your picnic blanket. But it requires your mom and dad's help. So stay tuned. Keep watching and you'll find out how you can make your picnic blanket. So our picnic blanket is there. What else are we going to take on our picnic? Let's see what's in our picnic basket. We have water. Oh, water is so important to have when we go on a picnic because we have to stay hydrated, right? When it's hot outside, we have to stay hydrated and we have to have our handy dandy water. So let's take a drink. That's great water. And Miss Felicia is using her reusable water bottle so that she keeps the environment safe and healthy and keeps the earth healthy and we don't have to throw away any waste, right? So I'm gonna put my water bottle down there because it's too tall. It'll get in front of the camera. Let's see what else we have. Ooh, we have an apple. Look at that yummy red apple. Ooh, that's delicious. Who else loves apples? I love apples. And we have a yummy mango. Mmm, it smells so good. This is gonna be really juicy. That will also keep us hydrated and it's sweet, so it tastes a little bit like candy. And Miss Felicia's got some raisins. Oh, I love raisins. Let's try one for the story. Mmm, so good. Do you guys want one? I love sharing with my friends. All right, we have everything for our picnic. So let's get into our picnic story. We're going to read Max and Marla go on a picnic. I can't wait to see what happens on Max and Marla's picnic story. I'm going to put my picnic basket on the floor so that it's not in the way of our story. We'll begin. Are you guys ready? All right. Max and Marla are having a picnic by Alexandra Boyger. Max and Marla are waiting for the first sunny day of spring. The news tells them heavy showers all throughout today. So it's gonna be lots of rain today. And they're just waiting for that perfect day. It's nice and sunny so they can go out. Warm and sunny tomorrow. Yay! Can everybody say yay? It's going to be sunny. You see, each year, these two best friends celebrate the beginning of spring with a, pic a picnic extraordinaire down by the lake. We'll make all our favorite dishes, right, Marla? Homemade lemonade potato salad, cheese and baguette, vanilla pudding with fresh strawberries, and grandma's special cake, a gugula. Did I miss anything? Wow, that sounds like a lot of yummy food to take on their picnic. 
What do you guys take on your picnic? You take sandwiches? Those are really delicious. What kind of sandwich? Peanut butter and jelly? Mmm, that's Miss Felicia's favorite. What about you? What do you take on your picnic? Oh, that sounds yummy too. But let's see what else happened. And Marla and Max's picnic. No, Max, you didn't. But time is of the essence. Marla? Marla! Oh, well. They managed to finish it all just fine, even with Marla's help. So let's see, is Marla helping? Marla doesn't look like she's helping much, right? She's making a mess. She's hanging out in the basket. Max seems to be doing all the work, but they're all ready for their picnic for tomorrow, right? The weather woman had promised a perfect spring day, and she was right. It's sunny, it's warm, and it's about time. All right, they got dressed, they're getting ready to go, they got their bike packed, and they are off. Off to the lake to go have a picnic. This is going to be the best picnic ever. Are you guys excited for this picnic? I know I am. Max and Marla's tummies begin to rumble. Ooh, can you, can you hold your tummy? Is it rumbling because you're hungry? Yeah, I'm hungry too. Let's see. Hmm, we are missing just one thing, says Max. I'll be back in a minute. What did they forget? It looks like they have everything, right? They have their picnic blanket, they have their basket, their cake, their strawberries. Hmm, what could they be missing? Does anybody notice any friends in the picture? Does anybody see any squirrels? What about the squirrel? Oh, is that a squirrel? Oh yeah, you spotted him up there. Marla is very good at waiting and napping. Oh man, what are those squirrels doing? Oh no, look, Marla's napping. What are the squirrels doing? Are the squirrels eating the fresh strawberries and grandma's special cake? Oh no, what's gonna happen? This day is perfect. It looks like a beautiful day. It is a perfect day. Max is finally black, back. These flowers are for you. Oh. Marla, what has happened here? You have started without me? Max is so distraught. Look, you got Marla some beautiful flowers. Oh. Look, there are food thieves at work. Oh no. The squirrels stole all their food. That's not good, right? What are they going to do? Marla and Max don't feel like staying any longer. They don't even want to look at each other. They're sad. Their picnic was ruined. It's time to go home. This was not a good day.
Max Pan and the Lost Owls is Marla's favorite book, thinks Max. She loves it when I read bedtime stories to her. Marla must be tired. She always giggles when I brush her beak. Marla must be very hungry. I am hungry. So see, Max is thinking about Marla as he gets ready for bed. Because even though the day was ruined, he loves Marla. And he wants her to be happy. Max has an idea. What is Max doing? He's picking some flowers. Yeah, outside picking some flowers. Who are those flowers for? Can you guess who the flowers are for? I think you're right. These flowers are for you, Marla. How fitting that Marla's favorite color is blue. So Max picked some pretty blue flowers for Marla. Yeah, look at that. What are they doing now? Max and Marla are having the best picnic ever. It's cozy, it's warm, and it is heavenly scrumptious. So they still got to have a picnic. They just had one inside the house. See, look, they're all cuddled up next to the couch, and they have their picnic blanket, their basket, and all the leftover food, and some other snacks from the fridge. Wow. So even though they didn't get to have a picnic outside, they still got to have a picnic indoors. That sounds so awesome. I really enjoyed that book. Did you guys enjoy it? You did. I'm so happy to hear that. Well, I'm glad that we all got to go on a picnic together. I hope you guys enjoy your yummy snacks. I know I am. Until next week. Bye, guys. And don't forget, tell your moms and dads to subscribe to our YouTube page. That way, you guys get the first notice of when we upload a new storytime episode. Well, until next week. Bye, friends.